Okay, we're back looking at the four models that we created, and we're looking again at the deflected shape, and the scale is one, so this is the actual deflected shape of these structures, and you'll remember that the beam is the only one that really has a visible uh, deflected shape, so it's not working too well. Um, but the thing we'd like to talk about now is the reactions and how they relate to the stiffness of the structure, particularly for this arch and cable. So you know there's a little bit of difference between the arch and the cable structure and the truss uh, and the beam. And that is that uh, on this right side, uh, this arch is uh, uh, pinned, uh, which means it's supported in both the X uh, and Y direction, and so is the cable. But on the right side of the uh, truss, there's just a roller support. It's just supported vertically, um, and same with the beam. So this is a very easy support to make, right, in the real world. Um, you just have to rest it on top of something, and you're all set. Um, this kind of support is more difficult. You have to be um, sort of connected uh, and fixed into a, a point um, so that you can actually uh, develop these forces. And these are really important. Um, one advantage of the truss is that it can have that simple in condition. So let's see what happens um, to the deflections of this structure if we say, oh, well, this arch um, is not allowed uh, to support in this direction. It can only have a roller. It can only have a vertical support. Um, so if we do that, uh, we have to make a few changes in the model, which should take just a second. And then we reanalyze it. And then we can go look again at the deflected shapes of the model. And you can see uh, life's not so good uh, for this arch. In fact, it's completely failing. It is essentially not working at all. Um, I need to actually reduce the scale not just to 1, but something less than 1. So let's go to, say, 0.1 here and take a look. Now we can see that this beam and this arch are about the same, but this arch is really uh, having a, a difficult uh, time. And at any sort of reasonable scale, um, it's deflecting a huge amount. And in fact, at actual scales, it's uh, completely worthless. The deflections are so large uh, that the structure would uh, still be standing uh, by any by any time. So these supports are, are really critical um, for this structure to actually work. Um, and of course, it's the same uh, in, in this case. Um, if we look again at the results we looked at before, which are the axial forces, uh, you'll also see that uh, things have changed uh, quite a bit here uh, as well. Um, and I'll look at the bending moment, which we haven't explained as much, and you'll see that they have changed. And the big thing that happened is now that this arch is not supported at the two points, it develops a bunch of bending, very much like the beam does, and is unsuccessful in carrying the load. If we go back to uh, the earlier uh, model, where this was supported properly. Everything comes back to normal. Um, we can talk for a, a minute about uh, these reactions in a little bit more detail. And I want to just give you a sense of that. The red arrows are just default arrows, always pointing um, from left to right uh, and from uh, bottom to top. Um, and that's the sort of sign convention that the uh, analyst of the program is using. And we can look in these uh, results uh, for some of these reactions, and we can learn a little bit more about these structures. Uh, so for instance, at this point, um, we can get the actual forces uh, at this reaction, and we'll see uh, that they're both positive, which means they're the same as the direction that the arrows are drawn here. Uh, and if we look at this other side, we'll see that the force in the x direction is negative, which means that this force actually has to be um, moving from right to left. That should make sense to you as an arch, because as this arch pushes down, um, this has to develop horizontal reactions, which it springs against, uh, and then uh, it stops those loads from happening. So obviously, we can get at this numerically. Um, and so you should think a little bit, knowing now how the arch behaves, how maybe this uh, cable uh, would behave, and how some of these other uh, structures would behave as well. So this concludes uh, our little video. I hope you find it helpful for the homework.